guys? Brand new EFP Airsoft review coming at you this time with my friends Elite Force 1911 TAC. Clearly this gun is tan and black, but what you can't tell is how heavy this gun is. I think it's about two pounds, very realistic weight with the gun, full metal. The only thing that's really plastic on here are just these pistol grips right here, and you could change those uh, whenever you want to replace it with whatever you like to make your gun more custom. Now what's unique about this gun is it's got really cool safety features. Not only do you have your uh, standard selector switch on the gun, but the beaver tail here, your hand has to be around this gun in order for it to shoot. That's awesome. It's, it's really cool. I, you really don't see that that much that often. Now, uh, it's blowback. Takes 12 gram CO2 cartridges. Now, here's a spare mag my friend has. The CO2 goes right here in the mag, and you're going to need this Allen key to screw it in. <clears throat> Uh, FPS wise it goes around 345 shot with point twos. we will show you what that looks like in the uh, shooting test a little bit later uh, the gun slides back here now you can tell that's it slid back now uh, really quick what I do want to show you guys is what it looks like with attachments on because as sick as this look already just imagine it with uh, a silencer or a laser light so we're going to show you what that looks like in two seconds so guys, I've thrown on a few uh, attachments here. Check it out. I got a silencer on it, and I got this uh, Walther laser light. You've probably seen it in a few of my previous videos. Now, what's cool about this silencer is that um, it really uh, makes sort of not too much of a difference, not too drastic, but it does uh, make a difference in when you're shooting because it's got foam in here, so it's a little more quieter. But honestly, it may add a little more weight as well because it's a little more top heavy. But you could run like this, just with this, maybe in a CQB type of scenario. It's pretty sick, honestly. I don't. The FPS really doesn't change. Nothing changes on it. Uh, this right here at this point is just all about looks. Now, uh, what I want to do next is just uh, show you guys before we do the shooting test. I don't think I showed you before, but the uh, it's got painted sights on here. Uh, front and rear, they're just painted on. Nothing too special there. But it looks pretty nice. <clears throat> So, uh, this is the gun. Uh, how about we go do that shooting test now? Alright guys, so I'm here with the outdoor shooting test of the Elite Force 1911 TAC. Uh, takes .2 BBs, that's what we put in here. Uh, just like on Evike uh, to shoot 345 FPS. Uh, as I said about that safety feature before, we have to have our hand on the uh, beaver tail. And, uh, it's on fire. Pull this back, and you're ready to go. Alright guys, and that's so you know you're done. Just like all typical uh, blowback pistols, uh, they just slide back when you're done. Slides back up, safety on, we're good to go back inside. Okay guys, so we just got back inside from that shooting test. Now I saved the hobble for last because it's a little more unique on how to do it, uh, how to adjust it in this gun <clears throat> than other ones. Um, so bear with me. What you got to do first is take out the mag. That's easy. You got to slide this piece back and get it up to this little uh, area right here and push this in. So I'm going to try to do that really quick. Hold it there, right there. Push it out with this, just like that. This piece comes off. This goes here. Now if you look closely, your hop-up is right there. You could adjust it right there, if you see that. <clears throat> Alright, so then uh, same thing to put it back on. You kind of just got to slide it on here. Again, please bear with me. Get it in line with this square right here. Put this in, just like that. And you're all good. Okay. Now to uh, conclude, this gun is awesome. Uh, I recommend it, not as a beginner gun, maybe uh, more uh, later on, because, uh, you know, like I said, it's a little more unique. It's got a lot of safety features on it, uh, as opposed to something new you could just run around and shoot with. This gun is awesome, though. It's pretty powerful, uh, especially in CQB. I've seen it firsthand. It's, it's awesome. It's pretty right on in uh, close quarters combat. <clears throat> 
So I definitely recommend it. You can get a whole bunch of attachments for it. My friend got this from a local airsoft store, but it can be found on Evike for I believe 120 bucks. Definitely check it out if you're interested in a new pistol, especially for the M1911s. Have a nice day.